you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Batman the Animated Series 6 inch scale Batman and Bat Cycle set from DC Collectibles. Now this comes packaged in a window box where both the figure and the bike are clearly displayed. Up there at the top you've got the name and then down below you've got the Batman Animated Series logo and the DC Collectibles logo. On one side of the packaging you've got that image of Batman like you see with all the Animated Series stuff. And then on the other side you've got the name of the people who worked on this set. So Irene Matar who sculpted the figure and then Kushara, I think that's how you pronounce it, the studio that worked on the bike. Then on the back of the packaging, you've got a brief bio in multiple languages. And then down below that, you've got a look at recently released Batman the Animated Series figures put out by DC Collectibles. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the bike and figure outside of the packaging along with the other contents. And first, let me just say a big thanks to the folks at DC Collectibles for sending this out to me early so I could review it for you guys. Now the first thing that you get with this is you get a, a little sheet that shows you other Batman the Animated Series products from DC Collectibles. All of these are out on shelves now. And then you also get a little instruction sheet. It shows you on one side, it shows you how to work the display base, which isn't terribly difficult. And then the other side, it shows you about installing the batteries. It takes little watch batteries. The bike does have lights on it and those are pre-installed already. So you don't really have to do anything for a while until the batteries go dead. Okay, so we'll start off by taking a look at the bike. And first of all, with the bike, you get this little display stand and it's made to look like a Gotham City street. You've got the manhole cover. The, the base itself is just done with a gray plastic. And then you've got this a piece here on the back that's made to hold the back tire. So, and this actually pivots a little bit so you can make it look like the bike is, you know, kind of uh, leaning to the left or the right. We saw them do something similar with the DC Icons Batgirl figure that came with the motorcycle. And with this, they also have given you the added option. If you don't want like the manhole cover, you can take this piece, you can uh, lift this piece up and flip this over and it's just kind of a blank it's like a blank street without the manhole cover just again gray plastic and then you can put this piece on this side and you can display the bike that way and the bike you know the back tire just fits back in there it fits pretty good and again you can kind of have it leaning one side or the other or if you balance it right you can have it just kind of uh, straight up and you don't really need this if you if you don't want to use that the bike itself actually you know it's it doesn't fall over it's got these back pieces so it keeps it from falling over it doesn't have a kickstand or anything but but again the bike itself is is pretty well balanced so if you don't want to use that base you don't have to now, as far as detailing goes on the bike you know this looks pretty accurate to the cartoon basic paint applications I mean you essentially just got the black plastic and the gray plastic you've got a little bit of detailing up here the, with the colors the red and the pinkish colors up here around the controls a little bit of yellow and red there on the dial speed dials and stuff and you've got the little bat symbol sculpted there so I like that detailing the windshield is done with gray the handlebars are gray the hubcaps on the wheels are gray and the, the these back pedals are gray as well you also have some gray on this front wheel which is completely covered with the outer plastic shell which is in keeping with how it appeared in the cartoon there is an actual wheel in there that, that rolls and you the back wheel rolls as well the wheels themselves are done with plastic They're, it's a little bit softer plastic but it's not rubber but the bike itself does does roll pretty good so no complaints there and then you've got the lights on the front this uh, this headlight lights up and then this little screen here lights up and you get some lighting in these controls as well and so um, let me the button to turn on the lights is right here on the bottom you just push this this is where you install the batteries again the batteries do come pre-installed there's a little piece of plastic that you pull out here so that the batteries don't actually you know the lights don't turn on by accident and the batteries go dead I don't know how long the batteries will last on this but you know if you left it on probably just a few hours maybe a day but but I wouldn't leave it on but you can see um, here and I'll turn the lights off so you can get a better look but you can see the headlight here and then the screen lights up pretty good and then you get some lighting here with the green translucent plastic on the controls so let me turn the lights off here and see give you a better look at this thing with it lit up okay so I've got the lights completely off here and again you can see this front headlight is pretty bright you <laughs> 
And then I like the way the screen looks on this and with the green lights on the dials. So overall you get a pretty cool lighting effect and you also even have uh, the backlight lights up as well. So that looks good from behind. So definitely I think it's cool. Again, I don't know exactly how long these lights will last, you know, how long the batteries will last. So I wouldn't just leave the lights on all the time, but it definitely makes for a, you know, kind of a cool display piece when you have it lit up. The front wheel on the bike also turns so you can turn it to the left and to the right and it actually has a pretty good range of movement there. Okay, now on to the figure itself. And I'm very happy to say that this just isn't a reuse of a previous Batman figure from the line. This is a brand new figure with added articulation. The first thing you might notice here is this figure actually has an ab crunch so that you can put him on the bike and have him fit well on the bike. I really like that. You also get this soft goods cape, which has wiring on the sides so that you can pose the cape. Again, when he's on the bike, you can make it look like it's blowing in the wind, or even when he's just standing here, you can get it in some pretty cool poses. We've gotten soft goods capes before, but this is the first time we've gotten the actual wiring in the cape. I like the blue uh, cloth color on the underside and then you've got the black on the outer side and again I really like the way this cape looks. Now for the head sculpt on this one he comes with a helmeted head. He's wearing that helmet that he would wear when he rode the bat cycle. It looks like his normal mask with the pointed ears but it's thicker looking and you know Batman we all know Batman practices driving safety so he has his helmet and you get two versions of that. You get this one that's attached to the figure. You've got just the black with the whited out eye and then you've got you can see a skin tone there around his mouth and with this one he's gritting his teeth so you can actually see his teeth second head sculpt again it's a helmeted head but with a normal expression so he doesn't have the mouth open you can barely see the mouth with this one but again it's just a more normal looking expression and again you've got the black with the whited out eyes and everything now another difference I want to point out on this figure is the cape you've got this shoulder piece this top part of the cape that covers his shoulders like you would see in the cartoon but but with this particular figure, it's done in a way so it's kind of lifted up on the shoulders there so it doesn't limit the arm movement. On previous figures that, that DC Collectibles has done, that, that cape definitely kind of limited some of, of the arm movement on the figure. So I, I like that. And this is actually a separate piece. So if you pop the head off, you can take that off if you want to. But again, I like that they actually sculpted it in a way so it doesn't limit the arm movement. Again, so that you can get him on the bike and have him actually fit on there well. I like the rest of the detailing on the figure. I like the bat symbol and this is actually sculpted. It's not just painted. So nice detailing with that with the black and the yellow. The rest of the figure is done with just that kind of gray color like we've seen with the previous uh, Batman the Animated Series figures. You've got the gloves with the little uh, things on the uh, the little pointy things on the back side there. He's got the utility belt which is sculpted nicely done with a bright yellow. Then he's got the black shorts. Again the gray on the legs and then again with the black boots. Now say you want to take this new figure with the added articulation and make it your go-to Batman animated series figure but you don't want to have say that helmeted head you can actually take one of the head sculpts the more normal looking head sculpts from a previous figure like this one this is from the two pack with uh, the bat symbol that came with Robin so I took the head sculpt from that one I took the cape as well I probably will use the cape that came with this figure but I wanted to show you that you could switch out the capes and you can stick this head sculpt on there and it does fit and this will probably be my go-to Batman figure whether I have them on the bike or in the Batmobile or what have you this is the one I'll probably use from here on out if you have hands or accessories from the other Batman animated series figures they will also work with this figure so for instance this one with the sculpted uh, gun grapple gun in his hand you can use it on this figure as well now this figure stands if you count to the tips on his helmet comes in just over six and a half inches tall. Here's a comparison of the Batman animated series Robin figure with the new Batman and the scale between these two is pretty good. And then just for comparison, here's a look again at that regular Batman the animated series Batman figure from the two pack with the bat signal as well as the one they did for the Justice League animated series. Okay, so articulation on this figure, which is much improved over previous Batman figures they've done for this line. You can turn the head to the left and to the right. You actually 
actually get a little bit of down movement, but really just can look straight forward. But what is even nicer is you actually get some up movement with this, even with the helmeted head, you can have them look up about that much, which will be nice for putting them on the bike. You also get a little bit of head pivot with this one, which again is kind of nice. With the arms, you can get the arms out pretty good there, and you've got good rotation, no uh, restrictions with the cape or any, anything. You do not get a bicep swivel, but you've got rotation there at the elbow. You get the single hinged elbow like we always see with these figures. You've got rotation there where the glove starts so you can rotate there and then you can also rotate with the hand. You have hinges on the hand so you've got good up and down movement. I should note you get grip hands so that he can hold on to the handles on the motorcycle. For the first time we get the ab crunch joint on this figure and so he can crunch forward about that much and then he can look back pretty good as well there. The cape again because it's soft goods and everything doesn't restrict any of the movement. You get a waist swivel with this one, which is nice. And then with the legs, he can do the splits really good. You can get the leg forward good, and you can do the leg out and back. You do not get a thigh swivel, but you get a double jointed knee, so good bending there at the knee. And then you've got a boot cuff swivel. You've got hinges on the feet, so up and down movement. And you do get ankle pivot with these, which is nice, and one peg hole on the right foot. Now, one thing I do want to note, overall, the joints seem to be pretty sturdy. I haven't really been worrying about them breaking or snapping, which is good. The joints here on the, the feet, the hinges here, are a little bit loose, which is something I've seen with previous figures in this line. And the big downside with that is sometimes that makes the figures fall over more easily. But otherwise, the joints seem to be well done and pretty tight overall. Okay, so I've got the figure positioned on the bike and you can kind of play with it however you want him to sitting. Um, I've, this is about as low as I can get him to the bike. You, know, you want him probably crunched down a little bit so that you know he can go really fast you got that you can pose the cape so um, that's I really love that feature with this and then you know you can see he's crunched down he's down pretty close to the bike and yet he's still able to look forward with the head sculpt the feet when you have them kind of crunched down like this don't fit perfectly on the pedals there but you know you can kind of have him sit back so not a big deal um, you can kind of push it forward but then he's going to lift up a little bit on the bike so it's really how you want to display it but I think you can get it on there pretty good and you can get it in some pretty good riding positions so I think DC Collectibles has done a really nice job with this figure the articulation and making it work with this bike and you can have the bike again you don't need that display base if you don't want to use it the bike will stay up even with the figure on it it will kind of lean to one side or the other but but you don't actually have to have the display base if you don't want to use it now the bike itself uh, is about nine inches in length if you count from tire to tire and the height of the bike is right about at its highest point seems to be right about three and three quarter inches tall and then when you have the figure on there it comes up you know the height on this is about just under five and a half inches again it'll vary a little bit depending on how you display the figure but overall it's a nice size you know it's going to fit well on your shelves and and the figure itself is going to uh, fit nicely on the bike there and for a comparison of the bike here's a look at it along with the six inch scale batmobile that dc collectibles did a couple years ago and here's a look at the two from the side and then finally, here's a look at the Bat Cycle along with the Bat Cave playset that DC Collectibles did. And you can display it with that if you wanted to. And yes, that new Batman figure will actually sit in the chair so you can have him work at the Bat computer. Okay, so that's my review. And overall, I really love this set. It's probably one of the best things they've done for the Batman animated series. I love the updates made to the figure with the added articulation and the cape that has the wires in it. I like the bike, the lighting effects look good and it's very accurate. It's also a vehicle that's not gonna take up huge amounts of shelf space. So you can either display it with the other vehicles and play sets they've done or by itself. The display base is nice, even though you don't actually need it with the bike. So yeah, I, I definitely think this is a really cool set that anybody who's been collecting this line or even if you're new to it will wanna check out. 
Now the one downside here is this set is not actually slated for release until August, so you do have a little ways to go until it's released, but you can go to places like Big Bad Toy Store and pre-order it now. And in fact, we're even doing a contest over on Toy News International where we're giving away $100 store credit for a Big Bad Toy Store, so if you were to win that, you could actually use it to buy this thing. Now we'll have a full image gallery up at toynewseye.com, there'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment, let me know what you think, if you're so inclined, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the bell notification so you're alerted every time i upload a new video and until next time guys i'll catch you later